what's up youtube as you can see i am on a mercedes just got off the tahoe and guess what guys we just got our scanner in today so i'm going to plug her up and see what kind of codes we got on this bad boy here and uh see if we can clear any codes or anything uh whatnot um to catch y'all up if you haven't been watching um the recent videos um my car literally had just got stuck in first gear it would not uh, shift i heard that three issues uh could be uh the shifter itself which is in the car or uh the conductor plate and if not the tcu or tcm uh transmission control module um and also it being low on fluid uh, this is a common issue on the 722.6 uh, and <clears throat> it's not a hard job uh, to do like the valve um uh i think it's called a valve uh i don't know i can't think of the word but anyway the conductor plate not hard to do i know you can change the connector and i forgot i get I, oh the valve body i guess underneath the transmission you can uh change the springs or whatnot change the solenoids i heard those could be going bad too and we're gonna have to get a new belt too because this is no good i just changed this belt like a month or two ago or maybe three i'm not sure but anyway let's put the scanner on her and uh let's see what we're getting so guys this is the scanner right here um originally um it comes with you know this a charger dang i'm not all right so it come with this a charger and uh this cable right here uh i end up buying like an adapter uh from a 16 pin to a 38 pin which i have a 38 pin right there so i gotta see how that hook up but anyway um in order for this to work for some odd reason because i don't have no power but i gotta have it plugged in so i gotta go get my extension cord and all that guys we in a clean 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 mercedes this leather been getting a break i'm going to do some work on these leather seats they in perfect condition on all of them they just need uh to be cleaned up i can't wait to clean this car up to be honest anyway let's put this negative battery on her as you can see we got light <laughs> let there be light guys with this car we only around like 145,000 miles i got it around 116 so i've been putting a good bit of mileage on there but not too much <clears throat> anyway let's look at the scanner right here we just plugged up so guys we got her connected <clears throat> Anyway, I'm going to put all my information in um, right here. I got this from uh, Amazon. I'm going to, uh, I wonder if I need it. I just checked it, do the check engine line. I'm going to go through this. <sighs> Shit. Oh, what the hell am I doing? I'm supposed to put in it. I wonder if I have to have my key. Probably so. We don't know. figure i need to have my ignition on so let me do that i should know better <laughs> so ben i plug the tcm back in we do have some codes so guys these are the few error codes that we have um first and foremost i would like to appreciate uh folks that have been hitting me in my instagram dms and on the facebook group uh, for helping me through. I mean, I kind of figured this uh, after doing research, but just to get more input from other people, man, that is so goddamn amazing. And people, they send me pictures of their cars and stuff. Um, this community for this W210 and all that is outrageous and all that. And I can't thank anybody enough uh, for this. But anyway, I'm ordering parts right now as we speak. Um, 
I got a, I'm ordering the uh, conductor plate and all that little good stuff. And then got to get a fluid. I'm thinking about uh, getting some solenoids upgraded. Uh, some guy um, on Instagram had uh, sent me um, some stuff. And look, I appreciate him, man. Here go. But anyway, guys, I want to get this Mercedes back on the road. I mean, this is uh, common issues for the 72.66, which was in range of models of cars, even the Porsche 996, my dream car, uh, Jaguars and all that. And the fluid known to uh, wake up to the TCM uh, when, uh, you know, when there's something leaked by so if we having solenoid issues and we know the conductor plate or the solenoids need to be changed or sometimes I heard of uh, the valve body too. Uh, people, they upgrade those and all that uh, with bigger sleeves and all that little stuff. But anyway, I ain't going to hold y'all up. I hope y'all enjoyed this little series and uh, let's get this thing back on the road. Uh, we just got to wait for parts and all that. Uh, things just take time. That's just how it is in life. Sometimes you got to take one step at a time. But thank God I'm able to figure out. Thank God I don't have to take it to no repair shop because, yeah, you know, I like working on my own stuff anyway. My, I save thousands and thousands of dollars not taking my stuff up to uh, certain places. D depending what it really is, if it's something really needed, then yeah. But other than that, there's something I can do, you can do. So see y'all, stay tuned. And also stay tuned for the Tahoe. Um, I just... Got some uh, stuff from there. I'm trying to um, piece the code side together. Um, patiently doing that. Trying to do that right. So y'all have a good one. See y'all.